World wars among big powers are quite possible to control dwindling oil supplies. Just like it did in 1973, when an OPEC oil embargo led to an international shortage and rocked the global economy. In the Dallas area today, dealers raised prices to more than 40 cents a gallon. Yes, kids, that was a lot. But a federal government price cap kept the prices down, yet created a whole new set of problems, like rationing and an industry shutting down, unable to turn a profit. But you will go up when you get the word. Yes, sir, I definitely will. Another idea to save gas, just drive slower. And many Dallas motorists agree that it's going to take a decrease in speed in order to slow down the energy crisis. The city of Dallas even considered regulating it. City manager George Schrader has urged the city council to reduce speed limits from 60 to 50 miles an hour. It all sounds like a great plan until you have to be somewhere. Are you willing to slow down to 50 miles an hour? No. <laughs> Why not? Because it's stupid, you know, and I just miss the light. <laughs> Gary, you're in favor of the shutdown along here? I certainly am. Uh, a lot of us have been threatened. Our phones don't stop ringing. Uh, we don't have time to breathe. We're working three times as hard. We're not making any more money. Uh, I'm all in favor of it. I feel this is the only way uh, we're going to get anything accomplished is by shutting the stations and having the government come in with more gas because we know the gas is there. I think in 10 or 15 years you won't see a service station as you see it today. Uh, the gas and go concept has arrived. I think you'll be able to get gasoline, have your windows washed and have your oil checked under the hood. But if you have a broken fan belt or a ruptured uh, hose on the car or a flat tire, you're going to have to either fix it yourself or go to a specialty shop because all the majors are going into the gas and go concept. When any industry is given a license to establish a monopoly, extending from the wellhead where the oil is first drawn to the tankers which transport it across the ocean to the refineries which, which process it through the pipelines which deliver it across the country through the tank trucks through the service stations which retail it to a captive market then we have handed over full control of our nation's jugular vein to a clique of oil moguls who make policy decisions based not on patriotism or the national interest but by their relentless search for profit and more profit. We've got to have it, because without it, there'll be no more service stations independent in the state of Maryland. We have had closed in the last three years 11,000 service stations across the nation, and this is growing, as Mr. Goldstein uh, testified, at almost another 300 since 1974 started. The, the rate of uh, service stations going out of business right now is tremendous. Well, I don't accept those charges as having any basis in fact at all. The problem is the hearing is a most untimely time in, in our history where the service station business today is chaotic. Um, none of these recommendations made here this morning are going to put one more gallon of gasoline into the stations. And I'm concerned that the emotion is going to carry the day. And what they'll do is legislate away from the voters a choice that should be theirs. I think uh, most of the people understand it and a lot of people have asked for it. You'd be surprised how many regular customers have asked for us to do that because they think that this is going to make the situation tight enough where the, either the state or the federal government will have to do something about it. Sam, do you think that dealers in other areas of the county and, and the city will take this same kind of action soon? Well, from what I understand or from what I read in the newspaper and what have you, it's going on all over the country and I just imagine that it, it'll probably, before long, they'll all be closed. I would hope so anyway. Well, primarily because of my lease. The, uh, the clause of my lease says I have to be open, with very few exceptions, seven days a week. And uh, as it stands right now, it's 12 hours a day. So even though the other guys are shut down, you couldn't shut down if you want, wanted to? I could, but I, then I'd place my family and my uh, income in jeopardy, and I'm not in a position to do that. I sympathize with the other guys, but there's really nothing I can do.
were 55 dealers of this locale at present. And uh, it was just a general meeting. Everybody had their chance to have their own say. And they decided that uh, due to the lack of gasoline and lack of profits and the abuse that a lot of them have been taking and some of the threats that were made, they would just stop pumping gas until we got some help. And they all generally seem to say they would continue to do this for as long as it took to get the relief they want? Yes, sir. It was a 100% vote. I'm not really bearing the brunt. It's the customers that are bearing it. I mean, we're, we're this way every day, so it's, it's no hardship on me. But we know with the shortage of gasoline that they talked about in Washington, I don't believe it's an actual shortage, but the way they're allocating it based on erroneous programs is affecting the employment not only in Maryland but in our nation. And that affects tourism, traveling, uh, resorts, and it's going to have some effect. But maybe because of the uh, lack of traveling, people will stay within Maryland, be more home-loving and home-cooking. They'll stay here in Maryland and go to Ocean City and the other Chesapeake Bay resorts up in Garrett County, western Maryland, and around Piedmont sections of our state. So maybe it won't have a real bad effect. We hope not. Gary, you're in favor of the shutdown along here? I certainly am. Uh, a lot of us have been threatened. Our phones don't stop ringing. Uh, we don't have time to breathe. We're working three times as hard. We're not making any more money. Uh, I'm all in favor of it. I feel this is the only way uh, we're going to get anything accomplished is by shutting the stations and having the government come in with more gas because we know the gas is there. I think in 10 or 15 years you won't see a service station as you see it today. Uh, the gas and go concept has arrived. I think you'll be able to get gasoline, have your windows washed, and have your oil checked under the hood. But if you have a broken fan belt or a ruptured uh, hose on the car or a flat tire, you're going to have to either fix it yourself or go to a specialty shop because all the majors are going into the gas and go concept. Mm 